Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Unit 32 Expressing Future Using Will For a complete language course please visit my website www.adzofenglish.com In today's lesson we'll be looking at using will to express future Now first of all I'd like to tell you that will is not the only way of expressing future it means that there are many other ways of expressing future not just will but people sometimes they think that will is the only way to express future and that's not correct so just before we even start this lecture remember that will is not the only way of expressing future time we can use present continuous tense or going to to show future time so you know that present continuous tense has its own uses right and going to is also a way of expressing future so remember that present continuous tense can show future time or going to can also uh, show future time but we are not learning uh, in this tutorial we are not learning present continuous or going to to show future we are just paying attention to will and we are going to learn that how will uh, uh, explains or I mean how will can be used to uh, express future time and future actions now will is a model verb you may know about model verbs if you've done uh, can or should uh, in previous lessons you may know what model verbs are so likewise will is also a model verb and uh, which is used to show future time right so will does not have any meaning of its own but it is used to uh, show future time and it's a model verb okay okay will has other uses too now like everything in english language uh, you know just you know it doesn't have only one use likewise will does not have only one use will can show future time but there may be and there are definitely there are other uses of will as well but we are not learning those other uses of will in this tutorial we are just learning one use of uh, will which is expressing future time now we'll look at a few examples number one i mean i will play cricket tomorrow so this action is not happening at the time of speaking when i say i will play cricket tomorrow this thing i'm not playing cricket at the time i'm speaking and uh, when i say that i will play cricket tomorrow it expresses that this action of playing cricket will take place in future and it is not happening right now and it's so clear that if i say someone uh, to someone that i will play cricket tomorrow definitely i'm not talking about past right and i'm not talking about at that present time whatever i mean when i'm saying this sentence so when i say i will play cricket tomorrow it expresses future time another example she will go to islamabad next week so this action is on also not happening at the time of speaking so when i say that she will go to islamabad next week this action will take place next week it shows future time so if you have decided to do something in the future for describing such actions you will use will now we look at a few examples i will not go to school tomorrow so when i say i will not go to school tomorrow it, ex it expresses future i will stay at home then at 10 am i will go to the supermarket i will come back at 12 and cook lunch so all of these examples you can see that i'm talking about you know tomorrow i'm talking about tomorrow that what i will do tomorrow and these actions are not happening right now okay will does not have any meaning please 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 remember that will is just a model verb and it does not have any meaning of its own what it does is that when you combine will with any form of verb i mean uh, with first form of a verb so what it does that it takes that action to future time that what you know will does so this is what will does so remember that will does not have any meaning kindly do not try to translate will in your own mother tongue and don't try to make your own you know signs that will is this is the meaning of will so remember that will does not have any meaning so kindly don't make and don't try to find any meaning of will will does not have any meaning it just you know takes uh, an action to future time it is just used to uh, talk about future plans and future arrangements just that's it it does not have any meaning so don't try to translate into your own i mean in your mother tongue don't try to translate it and don't try to make any signs of will that this is will right so will does not have any meaning now uh, now we'll look at using will for the plans or arrangements for the same day now 
you can use will for you know actions which will happen tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow maybe next week or next year but it's not the only you know way you can use will you can also use will for the plans the i mean for the same day and arrangements for the same day right for example time right now is 2 pm and action going on right now is eating lunch a it is 2 pm right now and i'm having lunch b what will you do after the lunch i will sleep till 4 then what will you do i will go to the park near my home there i will play with my friends and i will come back around 6 so you can see that it's a very good and very clear example of uh, actions for the same day i mean for using will for the actions of for the same day so if you want to talk about actions which will happen in the very same day and uh, so you can use you know will for that always use first form for with will yes that's really very important to remember that we always use first form of a verb uh, with will we do not use continuous form we do not add to we do not add sorry we do not add anything with first form of a verb we just add will plus first form of verb and that's it do not use second form or third form right now we look at a few examples correct form is aslam will leave his job next year so you can see that aslam will leave leave is first form of a verb you can see that there isn't any other thing with this first form of a verb now aslam will leave his job next year this sentence is correct now incorrect maybe aslam will to leave his job next year so this to is completely wrong we do not add to with first form of a verb or we do not use to with first form of a verb while using will another incorrect sentence aslam will leaves his job next year so this sentence is also wrong kindly do not add s or es while using will while expressing future using will do not add s or es with first form always use first form of a verb and that's it okay now we move on to structures now 